Hi guys, it's Rain the Math Person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 87 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, assuming you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So they ask you, calculate the approximate probability the mean of the rounded ages is within 0.25 years of the actual age. So negative 0.25 to positive 0.25, right? So that's what they're asking for. Actually, I'm going to call this x, not mean. They also tell you here that the difference between a true age and a rounded age is assumed to be uniformly distributed on this interval here. So we know for uniform distribution, mean is equal to a plus b over 2. So that's going to be equal to 2.5 minus 2.5 over 2, which is just 0. And likewise, the standard deviation is going to be equal to the square root of b minus a squared over 12. So in this case, b will be 2.5 minus minus becomes 5 squared over 25 over 12. So this is equal to square root of 25 over 12 as the standard deviation, but then we're asked to do it for 48 people. Mean of 48 is just going to be 0 plus 0 48 times, so it's just going to be 0. For the standard deviation of 48, this is equal to the square root of, let's say, variance of, and this they're asking about the average, so remember, for average, we just have to add the variance plus variance of 2 all the way to variance of 48 squared divided by 48 squared because remember when we take averages we basically just add up like a plus b plus c and you just divide by that n so it's the same idea here you just have to divide by that n to get the average but because it's in a square root um because it's in the variance world we have to make sure we square take the square root but the good thing is the numerator when you simplify this a little bit this becomes the standard deviation I mean the variance times 48 divided by 48 squared. So this is equal to the square root of standard deviation squared over 48. So then we know the standard deviation or the variance is equal to 25 over 12 divided by 48, which is approximately equal to 0 0.2083. So then I think we're ready to rock and roll. So if we're trying to find a range between these, we just have to normalize it. So this is equal to negative 0.25 minus mean, which is 0, over standard deviation, which is 0 0.2083. This is the definition of z, to, between 0.25 minus 0 over 0 0.2083. So you're basically asked to find a um, z score of 1.2, negative 1.2 to positive 1.2. So what you're going to get is, you're only going to get the um, positive side on the exam, so you're going to get the z-score for 1.2, but then you have to subtract this little bit here to get the range that you want. The z-score at 1.2 corresponds to 0.8849, so that means this little tidbit right here must be 1 minus 0.8849, which is equal to 1151. And if we're trying to find this range here, Again, it's the same idea. You take the 0.88849 minus this little tid tidbit right here to get the range that you want. So it's going to be 0.8849 minus 0.1151, which is equal to 0.769, which is our answer D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.